God has made us alive in Christ, and through us, he is embracing Chicago. And he always has. That's a joy of being church here. You know, when we were first formed, just two years afterwards in 1871, the Great Chicago Fire devastated more than 100,000 people's lives. We got to be a shelter for them. Not just with food and a place to stay, but with the good news of Christ, hope and peace in this crazy world. And we still get to be a shelter. Through our various ministries, God brings people together into community at St. James. And through this community, he serves this city. Our school is the longest running school in operation in Chicago. And here we provide a fantastic education so the students can be great citizens, but also a Christ-centered worldview so they may lead with the hope of Christ in their various vocations. God also forms community in our various interest groups, whether it's choir, whether it's our youth group, various Bible studies, men's and women's group. He creates community, people taking care of one another and learning more about this Lord that loves them. We also like to extend this community to those in need, serving people in really broken situations, whether it's a homeless shelter or it's a young person's home uh, from dysfunctional families. We want more people to know that God cares about their whole being in Jesus Christ, and we are here for them. Ultimately, the whole community finds its identity in the worship services. And here we have an engaging service, with a variety of, of music and relevant sermons so people understand God's word and a place where they can work together and serve, whether they're in the music groups or they're singing in the choir, reading scripture. God does amazing things here by the power of his grace, making community, alivening people in Jesus Christ and sending them out to serve their neighbors with that same hope and peace. Through all these different ways, God continues to make us alive in Christ and embraces Chicago.